Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's check out the swamp. There's supposed to be a dragon here. Be free, horse. It didn't take any damage at all. I love that, as it should be. Just wish I could feed it berries. These give me terrible runes, but they're all clustered here, which makes me think... Oh yeah, there's an item. Poison Bloom. Flower that grows in toxic terrain, material used for crafting, dripping with a deep green poisonous liquid. <laughs> Gibby's on my desk and she's just like batting at the screen at just anything on the screen right now. Just the leaves, the items. She's still in the mode of looking for that creature that she saw on my screen earlier. I'm going to put a video of that up right now. <laughs> oh, honey. She's adorable. Oh, I love her. Ah. Oh, no. So, anything else of note in the swamp? Aside from the dragon, which will appear at some point. Is over there... Uh, oh! Oh, I think... Yep, there's the dragon. It's got four different points that I can select from. Oh, I love how it can take down the trees. That's not gonna reach, why did I shoot that? Okay, what's better, arc or pebble? Heh. <laughs> 
<laughs> None of those reached. I think Pebble might be the way to go. It's so big that it's kind of hard to miss it, so I don't need the wide arc of the arc. And this takes less FP, I think. All right, let's try melee. Let's see how much damage we do to it. Less than magic. Let's go for the feet. I don't know if I could have avoided that one. Look at the radius on that. Yeah, got it! Nice! Oh, that feels great. Dragon Heart. A new draconic power is available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. I don't think I've found that cathedral yet. Yeah, the main trick is spam magic. Use the horse to um, run out of range of all of its many, many attacks. And kind of try to stay like roughly in front of it in kind of like the mid 
the midpoint, not too far away, but also not super close for it to do melee attacks. Kind of just in the middle trying to bait out the fire attacks. Because with those, then you can just sprint to the side with the horse and while it's shooting fire, just use up pretty much a full stamina's bar worth of magic shots. I guess I'll go get my souls back just to get them off the, like, compass. I don't think there's any souls actually here. No. <laughs> Let's level up. Do one dex, one strength. Let's see how many runes we have, actually. Oh, this is a bigger one. Golden rune four. Oh, I thought that meant we get four golden runes. I think that means this is like a tier four golden rune. Is that true? 1200. Okay. Farmed a couple more mobs just to get up enough runes to be able to upgrade strength to 10. And with 10 strength and 18 dexterity, I think we can use the flail now? Yes, we can. So, compared to what we have, the scaling is the same. Oh, I can just do this to compare details. Yeah, scaling's the same. Um. Wait, what? Okay, look at the scaling. It says the dex goes from D to D, and it has a blue color for that. And then it says the strength scaling goes from D to D, but it has red coloring as if that D is worse than the other D. I'm very judgmental as comparison of the Ds. But yeah, the physical damage is pretty much the same, very slightly less, but remember it's unupgraded, whereas the sword is plus two, so I think this will actually do more damage when it's upgraded. It's significantly heavier. Um, it's not very good at guarding, but I don't use it for guarding. I'm not going to be two-handing it, probably. And it causes blood loss buildup. 50. Let's try it out. I got a spiky ball on the end of a stick. Well, on the end of a chain, which is on the end of a stick. How cool is that? Look at it flop around. Look at my ball flop. Oh, look at it go. So that's the quick attack. Strong attack. Oh, that's a satisfying wind-up. Ooh, I'm excited about that. Let's look at the description for it. No, don't unequip it. Wait, I think I already looked at the description for it. I did. Yes, I did. But let's look at the description for the Dragon Heart. And figure out what it even is. Oh, it's a key item. Gain power of the dragon at the Dragon Communion Altar. Oh, wait. I actually might know where that is. That might be what all those people were, like, worshipping around in the swamp. I need to go there. Riddled with gravel stone, this grotesque organ continues to beat vivaciously. Oh. An offering used in the Dragon Communion, consume a dragon's heart at the altar to make its power yours. While a terrible and savage-looking thing, the heart has a peculiar beauty to it. Oh, what is that? This is the ruins in the swamp. It's talking. Or is it talking? Is the dog talking? I don't want to kill it, it's just a mangy, fluffy little boy. It's got a collar! I don't want to kill you! Oh, there's another one! Oh. 
Oh, the blood even gets on the vegetation. Yeah, let's explore these ruins. There might actually be something here. Oh. I love that you can hear it just flopping around. Clinging and clanging. My mace, that is. Oh yeah, there's an item in there. Behold, rat. Oh, I think the dog hurt me. Stone sword key. That goes into the like little gargoyle -y thing at the beginning of the game. I'm not messing around with dogs. Feral flame of Akil burn true. Feral flame of Akil burn true. scared of me. Oh, I feel kind of bad killing them. the whole enemy group. Caught a flask pack. So I know there's not any more. Liar ahead. Be wary of rat. Be wary of trap. There's a lot of bloodstains. Be wary of rat. Be wary of right. like my magic, my 
normal arc, but is it a consumable? Grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. It's consumable. I don't really understand what that means. Even if no great rune is equipped, it will slightly increase maximum HP upon use. It is said that the lower arch of the Elden Ring receives its receive its bounty, and this is a shard of one such arch. Wow. Oh. A shard of the Shattered Elden Ring. Well, I don't have a great rune, so I probably shouldn't use it, I guess? <laughs> Just liars everywhere, people telling you secret, secret, secret. Could it be a mimic? I don't see it moving. Well, guess it's not a mimic. Wait. That's not normal. It's not a mimic, but is that a trap? Is that like a poison gas or something? Yeah. Uh, nothing's happening. Like when I stay here. Transporter trap. Hmm. Where are you taking me? I'm just curious. Whoa. Look at him. Gravity stone fan. Gravity stone chunk. Did I miss them? Oh, I did miss them. They're tools. Use FP to emit fan-shaped gravitational shockwave. Yeah, these are more like magic consumables. I need to start using these things. I have so many. Or I guess I could just sell them, right? But like, I should use them to, you know, have fun with them. <laughs> Seems... Oh my god, look at that. Look at the way they're mining. Wait, it's super laggy for some reason. It keeps hitching, but... That's so cool. Anyone gonna come for me? Oh! What? You have a lot of hands. Oh, you are so cool! Look at that thing! It's like a bug, but also has a bunch of human hands. Oh 
Holy lag. Oh! <laughs> Where am I going to respawn? I guess just back at the, like, the last, um, thingamajiggy outside the swamp. I forgot what they're called. Side of Grace outside the swamp. So I have to go get trapped again? Oh no, back to the beginning of here. Okay, good. What damage type is this, by the way? It's Strike. Okay. Let's see how it compares, damage-wise, compared to magic. So, like, a normal hit of this. 49. Magic, 62. Magic's better. Wow, those things have a lot of health. They drop a lot of souls too, 600? I think that's another one that's asleep. Yeah, that's one of them. I think it's all curled up. Oh, it's kind of cute, even though it's just a big bundle of weird arms. First off, I want to go home. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah, let's go get the other caster up there. So laggy. Mm. Keep interrupting. Don't let it cast magic. Yes, it died. Oh, these are all cracked crystals I can harvest. And that's a smithing stone tier 5, I guess? What are the cracked stones? Oh my god, the smithing stone 5 can reinforce armaments up to plus 5. Or, uh, sorry, up to plus 15. Ah, cracked crystal used for crafting. Impure degraded and altogether unremarkable crystal. Widely found in crystal tunnels. Anything I can craft, by the way? Not too much. Various types of bolts, but I'm not going to be using bows. I need more recipe books, I think. And yeah, I need to use up these glintstone scraps and stuff. Does it tell me the value? Or do I have to look at that from, like, the store perspective to actually see what something's worth? It looks like it. Yeah.
I see a hole in there. It's possible to get on the other side. <laughs> Bloodstain. How did you die? Did you just attract some enemies and then go die in a corner? It really looks like you could make that. If only I could call my horse, then I could double jump. Oh, you can make it. Aha! Uh -huh. huh, it is kind of one way though. I'm a little bit scared to go there. I should probably explore this first. Oh, I'm pretty much out of FP. Oh, I'm out of healing as well. Okay, I need to play this quite slowly. lot of poise. I, th I, get, I think I just assumed that I would break their poise, but then it didn't break. The slashing attacks of sharp weapons are largely ineffective against hardened armor and scales. Strike attacks are likely to hit the mark. Oh, well this is strike, so maybe, um, I wonder if pierce would be a little bit better though. Let's try one of these gravity stone fans. Uh, oh, that's better. fans I threw at you stunned you. It's like using these items doesn't even seem that much more efficient because it still uses FP. I think there's two more. There's the one that's sleeping up there, but there's another one too. What was the other one? Ah.
can save on FP just by meleeing these. Oh! Oh, they got magic. If I take one hit from them, I, I think I'm dead. I'm gonna just magic them. I wonder if these crack crystals sell for anything. take out a group of enemies, I'll get some potions back. I didn't do anything, unfortunately. Try keep moving. Help me. Hmm. Summoning pool? Secret passage ahead. Do secret passages not exist in the game? Ladder ahead. That is true. That is a ladder. Oh, hey, there's a um, side of grace in there. Rot grease. Sounds like a crafting item. No, it's a tool. Coats armament inflicting scarlet rot. Hidden path ahead. <sighs> and that has like 4,000 upvotes. Where am I, by the way? Oh my god! Um... That's rather far. I want to go home. Help me. Do I have to find my way all the way back? Okay, this feels like Bloodborne now. I think these are going to inflict madness on me. A blood red sky. Jesus. I did not expect this. Let's go check out that little secret pathway that we can jump to. Ah! I want it! Oh, I can still get it. Cuckoo Glintstone. Magic bolt. 
magic bolt. Many magic bolts. Be wary of right. Surprise attack. Uh huh. Upvote you. Oh, fucking hell. I panicked there. like no FP left. No secret passage. Take it. Oh, fuck. What is... What is that thing next to it? That didn't last long. I think I'm just going to try to ignore these enemies. That might be to my detriment, but I'm going to try. Okay, nice. That saved me a lot of FP. New spell. Rock Blaster. Takes 21 int. Oh, I have 16. So 5 int off. Thrust a staff into ground to emit a massive shockwave. That sounds cool. Takes 30 FP.
Didn't expect ill-omened creature, therefore tried jump attack. Be wary of left. Oh. Just an extra one hanging out in there. little bastard all right this should be the one got here I have tons of FP three full potions Gotcha! God, these enemies are hard. Dragon wound grease. Another, um, like, weapon thing? Special dragon attacks. Hmm. So that's like an elemental type is special dragon attacks? I guess? Better be good. Well, that seems pretty good. A talisman. Bearing an icon that depicts a group of masked figures raises potency of incantations. The figures represent the flock at prayer, their firm belief in the intangible inspiring even the solitary, even the solitary founder of their religion. What is faith if not an affirmation? Seek skill. <laughs> Thanks. Scared about what's in here. Like, there's more? If only I had a checkpoint. Yeah, that'd be nice. Help me. Oh god, there's there is more, isn't there? If only that was a bonfire. Jump attack required a head. All the more seek head. What? That's a I mean it's just a boss, isn't it? Oh, that thing is so cool! <laughs> did you see how much my one attack did to it? The 80 damage? How much that took out of its health bar? Like 1% of its health? Oh, that thing is so cool, but yeah, I'm not fighting that any time this century. That is not happening. I'll lose the 4,000 souls. That's fine. I got the items. That's the most important thing. Whew. 
Let's get out of here, huh? Let's take a just a little peek into what this world looks like before I get out of here. This really does feel like Bloodborne. Squelchy. Oh my god. They have so much health. I just want to see what one drops. It just looks like a bigger version of the things we saw at the Dragon Swamp back there. Which means they're probably going to drop very few souls, because those dropped like 13 or something. Five hundred souls. Not very much for something that takes that much resources. A little group of skeletons. Oh, there's one of those invisible things where I need to hit him. Okay, well I can do that. Poison armament. Back to our precious, precious church of Ella. Ah, oh, wow. Well, I think that's a good place to end this episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go back to the swamp, the dragon swamp, and see if there's anything else there I haven't discovered. <laughs>